What's happening, sports fans? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. We have a tragic story to report on today. What started as a missing persons investigation for former NFL player Sergio Brown and his elderly mother in a close-knit Illinois town turned into a far more disturbing mystery after the woman's body was found in a creek over the weekend. Sergio Brown, was 35, had turned away from the spotlight following his retirement from the NFL in 2016, but he made headlines again on September 16th when desperate family members reported him and 73-year-old Myrtle Brown missing. Efforts to locate the pair safe and alive were interrupted when Myrtle was found dead just a day later, less than 100 yards from her home. Authorities have revealed that her death is being investigated as a homicide while the search continues for Mr. Brown in the suburban village. Now neighbors of the Browns have claimed that surveillance footage captured the former NFL star who is said to have been acting out of his mind in recent months, burning his mother's clothes. Maywood police have yet to name any person of interest or suspects in the probe. As scant details about the tragedy begin to emerge, here's everything we know about Mr. Brown's disappearance. Sergio Brown's career in the NFL started in 2010 when he was signed by the New England Patriots. He also played with the Indianapolis Colts, Patriots, Jacksonville Jaguars, and Buffalo Bills throughout his six years in the league. Little is known about Sergio Brown after he was released by the Jaguars in 2016. Carlos Cortez, a neighbor of Myrtle Brown's, told a local television station that family members had told him Mr. Brown had not been acting like himself lately, but did not elaborate on what type of behavior had given that impression. Now, relatives of Mr. Brown and his mother contacted authorities on Saturday after they couldn't get in touch with them for over 72 hours. Myrtle's sister, Sheila Simmons, told WGN-TV in Chicago that she had last spoken with her on September 14th, and neither she nor Mr. Brown were answering calls. The Maywood Police Department then launched a missing persons investigation. Later on Sunday, family members and authorities found Myrtle's dead body in the Addison Creek Reservoir less than 100 yards from her home. The Cook County, Cook County Medical Examiner's Office confirmed Myrtle's death was a homicide. According to records obtained by local television station, she died from multiple unspecified assault injuries. So again, this is just a sad story. Right now we have Myrtle Brown who is deceased, the mother of Sergio Brown, and he is still missing at this point. Uh, there is no person of interest or in, as of right now in this investigation. And now the police uh, are looking for Sergio Brown and, and hopefully he's still alive so we can get answers to this uh, uh, family tragedy. I'd like to know what you guys think about it. Make sure you drop a comment. I am Kendrick the Sports Guy. We will see you on the other side and on the next report. I'm out. Peace.